Hi, I'm Sibran Dijkstra. I'm the CEO of DJ Studio and I'm going to show you something really cool. I'm going to show you how I make a small DJ set in DJ Studio and then export it back to Recordbox, including hot cues. Hot cues that guide me exactly where I need to start the next track and where I need to do my transition. Have a look! Let's find my favorite DJ, Boris Breccia and grab a few of his songs. Here you see the three songs. What you also see is the phrases. The phrase information, we imported it from Recordbox. I love mixing from build-ups and then swap the drop. So I'll simply grab the first track and move it to the swap. And over here I do exactly the same. Zoom in a little bit, have a listen. Okay, we do have a key clash from 1A to 4A. So in this case, I'm gonna do something different and I'm gonna use my Lifesaver uh, filter. Let's go from low to high. Don't make it too long, just before the chorus comes in. Very good. For me as a beginner, this is perfect. Let's go to the next transition over here. This transition is from the key 4A to 5A, so no problem at all. Let's find a chorus to mix in over here and let's find the build up over there and have a listen. So, adjusting the volume a bit. See what I did? I removed just four beats from the bass and that's just giving the extra tension. Have a look. Woohoo! Okay, my DJ set is ready. Now I like to do this live in Recordbox. So I'll export it to Recordbox, give it a name, uh, my RB uh, Boris uh, live set. And here you see in the export DJ set options, you have a record box export. And in this export, we uh, can add the hot cues. And we have three options for the hot cues. If you only have four uh, hot cue buttons on your controller, you can use the C and the D button for uh, the start of the next track. And I'll show you in record box how it works. I have eight buttons, so I use the G and the H. So we respect the other hot cues you have already set on your tracks, so we don't touch them. I'll export it to Recordbox. And boom, it's there. Let's have a look at Recordbox. So here's your familiar Recordbox. Have a look in the playlist of Recordbox. In the bottom, there is this Recordbox Borders live set. The live set that is directly created from DJ Studio. In here, you see the three tracks, but see how cool it is. If I load the three tracks in here, you will see that my two hot cues G and H are already loaded. And the second track is at the H, it's already at the place where you need to start in the second track. Have a look. Here's the H, the K and the M. And here's the K and the M as well. So at the H, you start the second track. Then at the K, you start your transition. And at the M, you're finished with your transition. And when you grab the third track and put it in the first deck, you will see it's already loaded at the right position, at the G. So when this track is finished over here at the G, you will start the first track in here. And then at the N, you will start with your crossfade. At the O, we do the bass swap. And at the P, you need to be finished with your crossfade. Let's give it a try. Let's put it somewhere over here and let's see if this really works. So I select and start deck two. At deck one, we go to the G. That one is already in place. And I'll wait for the G. Here we go. 
So now the tracks are aligned. Next step is to start working on the crossfade. And I lower the bass. And I have plenty of time. Here we go. At the end. And I start fading in the second track. And I'll wait for the four beats for doing the bass wall. Opsa, here we go. The bass walk was there, and now I'll simply fade out the previous song. And at the P, I'm sure, woohoo! I did my first transition in Recordbox. How cool!